Day guys and gals, Jason here from Ridgeline Overlanding. Today's video is going to talk about why the Honda Ridgeline is the best all around truck. Some may view that as a controversial statement, we will frame it a little bit, but I believe after two years of ownership I can tell you that this is the best truck for most people most of the time. So let's unpack that and maybe we'll change a few minds and uh, see what happens. It's a funny one when it comes to trucks because full-size trucks are kings of the road and they sell like hotcakes. Yet when it comes to cars and SUVs, we're quite happy with our Honda Accords, our CRVs, or even a Pilot. You just don't see a road full of full-size SUVs that would be the equivalent of the full-size truck. Why? Well, we could speculate a lot of reasons. At the end of the day, we, we should buy what we need and most of us don't need a full-size truck. So let's talk about mid-size trucks and how the Honda is the best all-around option. Let's see what some of the major car guys are saying about the Ridgeline. Looks like they rank it pretty highly and these statistics haven't changed a lot in the last two, three years. Generally, the Ridgeline is going to finish first or second in any given test, depending on whether they're weighing it on its truckedness or its everyday livability or its car-like mannerisms. So before I begin selling you on all the virtues of the Ridgeline, I want to give props to what I would call its three major competitors. And that would be the Tacoma, the Colorado Canyon, and the Gladiator. Um, they all have a very great place in the truck market. Um, if you're looking for straight up off-road chops, you've got to go with the Gladiator. But if you need to mix in reliability, then you go with the Tacoma. If you want the most versatile truck truck, then it's going to be the GM Chevy Twins. And then the Ridgeline, I think, does uh, the best blend of all of those things for what the average truck driver uses their truck for. So here's some interesting statistics for you. And you know what? If you're like me and you do haul regularly and you do tow regularly and you do go off-road regularly, well, then what? Well, then maybe that's why we're looking at mid-sized trucks because they're a lot more efficient. Let's weed out a few people here. If you are going to be regularly hauling, you know, a couple thousand pounds, you're going to be towing in excess of 5,000 pounds or looking to do some real rock crawling, then you need what they would call a real truck. But if you're more like the average person or like myself, where you're towing 1,500 pounds, maybe two, 3,000 pounds, you're hauling, you know, the big items you bought at Costco or Home Depot, and you're just going out weekend warrioring and, and camping and, and exploring soft roading, doing light off-road trails, then I think we're going to narrow this down pretty quick to the Ridgeline. At the beginning, I stated that the Ridgeline is the best all-around truck for most people most of the time. So let's face it, most of the time, our truck is being used as a car. It's a daily driver, it's commuting, it's picking up kids from school. So we really want a vehicle that functions well for the family. And the ultimate family vehicle right now is the SUV. As much as I think minivans are better, and we've historically owned minivans, the SUV really is king. And to that, I would say the Honda Ridgeline is a better SUV. It offers all-wheel drive. It offers all of the creature comforts, great ride, interior goodies, all the safety features. But it does so while offering you a big bed to haul things in versus a small storage compartment that uh, fills up way too quickly when you're going to Costco. So let's be giving that some thought, getting a small pickup truck instead of an SUV, because you're going to get similar fuel economy. You're going to get way more versatility with the truck. I couldn't imagine not having the truck bed, whether it's throwing in my mountain bikes or a load of bark mulch or whatever it might be. I use it all the time. So that brings us back to what I would call the four best mid-sized trucks. And I got to go with the Ridgeline. I've had it two years and it is not without its quirks. And I've dealt with some of those quirks. I've spent way too much money on my stereo, but I got a kick-ass infotainment system now. Most of the grapes that you will find about the Ridgeline are very minor. It's such petty stuff that comes up in the negative reviews. Quite, quite petty. What you're getting is Honda reliability. You're getting great resale value. Things that are only matched by Toyota. But the Tacoma could not be more opposite. It is a very old platform. It's an off-road vehicle. It doesn't ride very nice at all. If you're going to have only one or say a dedicated off-road vehicle, 
then get the Tacoma. But if you're going to be driving it every day and you care at all about comfort, fuel economy, or room for your kids and your dog, well then, Ridgeline. All right, well, let's get this train back into the station or uh, more appropriately, get this truck back in the garage. So thanks for tuning in. I um, hope you found the content helpful, um, giving you some different ideas on what uh, what you should be expecting from a truck, uh, considering the midsize truck as a great alternative to the midsize SUV. And uh, yeah, if you like what you see here, be sure to give the Ridgeline a closer look. Go check one out at your Honda dealership. I'm just some guy with a YouTube channel and uh, likes to take his uh, truck out into the back roads and share his adventures with people. So if you like it, hit that like button, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Uh, if you don't, well, send me some constructive uh, criticism. Tell me how I can do it better. And if you just think it's lame because it's a Honda truck and uh, should go away, well, maybe just keep that to yourself. So anyway, until next time, and there will be a next time, go play outside.